What's up everybody, welcome to BCM, this is Michael and it's been a while but I'm back. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Hey, why don't join our Patreon family also? Stick around to the end to see what the experts have to say, I'll put a timestamp below, but first I'll break down what I think. Friday the 9th of July, we'll see two fighters with perhaps the coolest names in boxing come head to head for the WBO female light flyweight title. Tenkai Tsunami will defend her WBO light flyweight title for an impressive fourth time against rising star Siniesa Estrada. The fight will go down in the City of Angels, Los Angeles, USA. There are some monsters lurking in women's boxing and many names will be familiar to the average boxing fan like Clarissa Shields, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano or Jessica McCaskill to name a few. But some fighters like Siniesa, super bad Estrada, I told you about these cool names, is starting to make waves of their own as their presence grows on the sweet science scene. Excuse the alliteration. Sure, Siniesa Estrada is easy on the eyes, but if you're not careful in the ring against her, you could end up with two very black and swollen eyes. Or something. In July 2020, Estrada earned the record for the fastest knockout in women's boxing when she turned out Miranda Atkins' lights in just seven seconds into the first round of their bout. So just ask Miranda about Estrada's power and you'll see what I'm talking about. Growing up, Siniesa watched a lot of boxing with her dad and Roberto Duran fights were a favourite. It appears some of that hands of stone ability to finish opponents has rubbed off in Estrada. Although her knockout ratio is not as impressive, Roberto Duran won by knockout in 17 of his first 20 pro fights. Siniesa, now 20 pro fights deep herself, has won 8 of those by knockout, showing she packs some weight in those hands. At 29 years of age, she's still young and hungry, and her skills have earned some big praise from former champions like Roy Captain Hook Jones Jr. Speaking of hooks, that's one of Siniesa's go-to punches when she sets it up, and it's a beautiful thing to watch when delivered. A switch hitter changing from orthodox to southpaw and defensively minded, she is also elegant on her feet and moves around the ring well, making her a difficult fighter to train for. Accurate punching and often in combinations, an unorthodox jab, timing, and great at controlling distance, Siniesa is well-rounded. She aspires to one day unify at 105 pounds after taking the WBA female minimum title of Annabelle Ortiz early this year. But first, she must take care of business against Tsunami at 108 pounds. Tenkai Tsunami is in fact Minami Arima. That's her real name apparently, so Tenkai Tsunami is her ring alias I guess, which explains why I couldn't find a separate and designated ring alias for her. Okay, so that mystery solved. <laughs> But the mystery of how she will fare against an upcoming rising star won't be answered until July 9th. Tsunami so far in her career has fought mostly in her native Japan, where she has done reasonably well. At 36 years of age, her record stands at 28 wins with 16 of them by way of knockout. She has 12 losses and the one draw. As mentioned, she is the current WBO female light flyweight title holder and will be defending it for the fourth time. However, this time around, she will not be defending it in her backyard, but will instead be defending it in front of a hostile crowd, no doubt, albeit in limited numbers, in Estrada's home state of California. So why is where Tsunami fights important? It might not be, but of her 28 overall victories, 24 of them have been in Japan. She has had 27 fights in Japan, all told. She has had 14 international pro bouts, and 10 of those have resulted in a loss. How's my accounting? <laughs> Oh, I don't think I'm a lot dumber than you thought that I think that I thought I was once. This might not mean much, and I'm sure there are plenty of other contributing factors to why a fighter loses fights, but some fighters are very comfortable fighting away from home. I don't think Tsunami is one of them. She is, however, unpredictable in the ring, and I think this works well for her. She often substitutes a jab from the orthodox position with a lead right cross that comes out of nowhere, keeping her opponents guessing. She also has a slight herky-jerky style that reminds me of Tyson Fury, only in miniature version. She does move her head well and can be tricky to hit when she keeps moving, but this is one of her flaws. She does get complacent at times and can be stationary, almost lazy. She carries some power and 16 of her 28 victories by knockout suggest that this is the case, but again, she does throw out a lot of punches with not much conviction and against someone like Estrada. She will need to put gloves with some substance on her to get Estrada's respect. Tsunami will need to get in Estrada's face and outwork her in punch volume and crowd her, make Estrada uncomfortable in there if she wants to hold on to her title. 
Tsunami has never been knocked out, so she might have a decent chin, and it may need to take a few shots in order to dish out her own punishment. If I'm wrong, I'm happy to freeze some used urinal blocks and use them as ice for my morning iced tea, but I see a victory for Siniesa. I mentioned that Tsunami has never been knocked out in her pro career, but I believe this will be a first Domo Origato. Before we hear from the experts, a reminder that if you want to show your support, you can like, share, and subscribe. You can help this channel grow by becoming a Patreon member, which comes with some perks. Check out the description for more info. Life is a fight outside the ring, and if you are struggling with depression, anxiety, substance abuse, low self-esteem, debt, sleepless nights, and so much more, I can tell you I have been there and I have some crazy stories to share, but more importantly, I turned my life around, and my experiences might help you to do the same. You can find out in my book, How to Get Out of Life Traps. It's available on Amazon. Just follow the link below. for an opportunity to make money. That cryptocurrency is so hard right now. I'm not a financial advisor, but it's pretty obvious that it is growing in popularity and utility. And many folks think that they have missed the boat on cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, but they couldn't be further from the truth. You can mine Bitcoin on your laptop, PC, and mobile phone if they're half decent without having to splurge on expensive mining rigs. In fact, you can do it for free. This is not a paid sponsor. I would be in trouble with YouTube if it was and I didn't declare it. It's just simply a great opportunity and something that I'm doing. And CryptoTab can help you generate income. Click the links below and start earning money today!